Hi, I'm Reese, and this is my Harper's Bazaar cover shoot. The Hello Sunshine Book Club was sort of born out of me just posting books that I liked on Instagram. And I started a production company seven or eight years ago that was trying to create projects, more projects that had uh, roles for women in them. I've always really gravitated towards female authors and women at the center of novels. So I started optioning some of them and turning them into movies. And then I just started sharing all the books that I read because I read a lot and I love the effect that it has on the authors. That's really cool. It's really exciting, particularly like we have one author, Delia Owens, who's um, in her 70s and it's her first fictional novel is called Where the Crawdads Sing. And it's just become this huge, book and she sold over a million copies and we're turning it into a movie and it's just one of those really exciting once in a lifetime opportunities that yeah it's very fulfilling. One book that we're adapting right now is so exciting to me is Daisy Jones and the Six. It sort of feels like a, um, a VH1 behind the music about this girl's life and how she joins this band and they create this super group and the most amazing album of all time but then it's the only time they, they make an album. And it's just that kind of sexy 70s world filled with rock and roll. And it's just a really cool project and I'm really excited we're doing that. There's a book I love called From Scratch by Tembi Locke. And it's a beautiful love story. A woman from Texas goes to Italy and meets this incredible chef. It's a true story. They have a kid, they fall in love, they get married, and something tragic happens. Tembi tells her own story in the most beautiful words. So I love that book, check it out. Book that made me laugh out loud in public, anything by David Sedaris. I think he's so funny. I love Calypso. I love all of Nora Ephron's books. Heartburn, uh, I feel bad about my neck. I remember nothing, particularly as a woman, you know, coming of age and learning about what it means to be a woman who walks through the world. She, she tells stories about motherhood and aging with such humor and um, self-deprecation. I just think it's, it's a must read. I would probably say the book that I'm desperate to read a sequel to is The Secret History by Donna Tartt. It's a book I read when I was in high school and it's about kids in college and they have this crazy wild night out and something happens and one of them dies. It's really atmospheric and you find out the most thrilling plot twist in the last 10 pages. So I always wondered what happened to those, those kids. So maybe Donna knows. Well, anything by John Meacham, like, or David McCullough. The, the, they're the foremost historians about American history. And I think if, you know, can throw in there that, you know, you you heard them on, um, on PBS talking about their book, that's really helpful too. So anything by John Meacham, anything by David McCullough, anything dealing with like the Revolutionary War, I think that's that's a good one to call out. I think the book that had the biggest impact on my life was Wild by Cheryl Strayed. It's the first book that I optioned to turn into a movie that I was producing and starring in. And I was really nervous. <laughs> and I asked Cheryl if it would be okay to option her book, but I didn't really have a track record as a producer, but she took that leap of faith with me and I'll be forever grateful. And I love that movie. I love the themes of women versus nature and the idea that at the end of it, she ends up with no man, no money, no job, no parents, and it's a happy ending. <laughs>